So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. So let's read it one sentence at a time and make sure we understand, especially all of the quantitative information. So the first sentence here says when a buffet restaurant charges $12 per meal, so that's important, the number of meals it sells per day is 400, right? So $12 goes along with 400 meals. For each 50%, I'm sorry, 50 cent increase to the price per meal, the number of meals sold per day decreases by $10. So if I go up by 50 cents, the number of meals I have or that I sell go down by 10. What is the price per meal that results in the greatest sales in dollars from meals each day? Okay, so for instance, answer choice A is asking, if the meal costs $16, how many meals will they sell that day and how much sales will they make that day and will they make more that day by selling meals for $16 than they would have made by selling meals for $20 or $24 or $28. So what I'm going to what I'm going to use is what I've been given, right? So I know that as the cost of the meal goes up by 50 cents, the number of meals sold goes down by 10. So how much of a difference is my starting point, my $12 meal, to my choice A, my $16 meal? Well, that's an addition of $4. How many 50 cent increases is that? Well, that will just be double that, right? Because it takes two 50 cent increases to equal $1. So this is going to be eight increases, okay? Now, for every 50 cent increase, there's going to be a reduction in the number of meals sold by 10. So I need to multiply that 8 by 10. So that equals 80. So that means instead of selling 400 meals, I should sell 320 meals, right? Because I've reduced my 400 by 80. And then I'm going to multiply that by 16 to figure out how much the restaurant makes that day. And when I do that in my calculator, 320 times 16 is equal to 5,000. Let's just get rid of this information here. I think we know it now. Equals 5,000. $120. Okay, let's do the same thing for choice B. This would be an addition of $8 from our original $12, which means it will be 16 50 cent increases. Multiply that by 10 to figure out that there that means that there will be 160 fewer meals sold from the 400 meals sold at $12 per meal. 400 minus 160 is equal to 240. So I'd only sell 240 meals at this price. I multiply that by 20. I go back to my calculator. And I see that 240 times 20 is 4,800. Okay, so I have a lower amount of money made here than here, even though my cost per plate has gone up because I'm selling, I'm selling fewer meals. Now the question is, is this a trend? Now, I could say, well, yeah, I think it's a trend. As we go up, it's just going to continue to go down. So answer must be choice A. That's what I'm thinking it is. But I'm going to just try one more time just to make sure that it is a trend. So from our original $12 to $24, that's an addition of 12 bucks. That would represent 24 50 cent increases. So since I have 24 50 cent increases, that means I'll have 24 times 10 in terms of the fewer number of meals sold for that day which is equal to 240, which means from the 400, I'm reducing that 400 number by 240, which gets me down to 160. And 160 times 24 is what I'm multiplying now. 160 times 24 is yes, even lower. So as expected, as I raise the price of the meal, I'm getting more per meal, but I'm getting less overall because fewer people are buying those meals. So the price per meal that results in the greatest sales in dollars from meals each day is choice A, the $16.